Hey guys, this is Lego Boy, and today, oh my gosh, my voice, my voice sounds so weird. Today we are going over, if you don't already know, oh, already know, rails and powered rails, and going over all the minecarts. So, a lot of starters will probably go to this video. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we'll also be looking at some redstone, redstone torch, and block of redstone. So, uh, I forgot something, guys. I literally forgot something. Oh my gosh, I need to clean my inventory. Look at all this junk in here. Like, come on now. Okay, so we are back. <coughs> I need to clear my throat. My throat is terrible. Okay, that didn't make that made no sense. So if you're going to the normal rail tracks, you can just go ahead and place them down. Now what I recommend is putting a barrier here because if you have your minecart here and you push it off, it'll just fall off. And it will not go back up on the tracks. Well, it can but it's quite hard. And it's just like if you push it even further on accident, it's like almost impossible to get it back on the tracks, you know what I mean? So what I recommend is to put any block barrier Hi, cow. How you doing? Well, move to you, too. So, <clears throat> you just want to place mine tracks. And, as you can see, no, like, powered rails will not turn. Normal, which is just rail, will turn. And you can put it all crazy, like, into all jaggedy ways. Like, that'll be a, the craziest ride ever. So, yeah. You can just... Oops. Yeah. I need to take care of that. Perfect. Okay. So, you just place them. I'm just doing a demonstration, so I'm not going to make them go really anywhere. So then you want to place your minecart on the track and get into one. Now you will actually have to press um, the joystick forward or backwards or W and S. And then, oh, S doesn't work, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can only go forward. I was, uh, I was sure that, yeah, if you turn around like this, you can go to the directions. You just turn around and press W or forward joystick. So, yeah, you just press space or click down on the joystick to get out. And... If you die, if you guys did not know, I'm playing on Minecraft Windows 10 Edition Beta, and they have just now added in something different. Look at this—they added in a search, which is amazing, and they're modifying this to make it um, just like the computer version. Now, I don't know what happened to my computer version. If you look at some of my older videos, you'll understand, but I have no idea what happened to the computer. It just—it just get glitches out like crazy. So annoying. So, um, yeah, you'll have to propel yourself forward, and it goes definitely slower. Now, let's do a demonstration of how a powered rail works. You put a powered rail down. Now, if you're first starting to just go, uh, you don't want to put any type of redstone signal like this that's activated, because your minecart will do that and just start propelling forward. Now, you want it to pro propel... Pro Pell forward on your mark. So you want to put down a button, and you want to most you want to put it on the top here, and oop, and then you want to click the button, and look at that, it'll go when you want it to go. Now, after you do the first one, what you want to do is continue to put these tracks, but you want to put an activated signal here, or an active signal, which are like this or this. Now, if you put just normal redstone, it's not going to do anything. You need to activate the redstone if you want redstone. So, you want to continue doing that thus on, like this. And I'll demonstrate that both of these work. So, and then you want to place a block at the end also of your rail tracks. So, here we go. Oop. And it'll keep propelling you forward 
without you having to touch anything. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use normal rail and powered rail. Now, what we're going to be doing is getting on to the uh, powered rail. I mean, pow power rail. Ah, I'm stuck in this hole. Get on to the not powered rail. We're going to get up. Get on to. <sighs> I'm so terrible at clicking buttons. Okay, perfect. So we're going to be getting on to the different types of minecarts. This is a disaster. Just completely a disaster. Night, night. Come on now. There we go. Perfect. It's morning. Okay. So, you can also do activated signals with your other types of minecarts. But I'm just going to demonstrate with out. So, of course, you need a minecart and a mine track. Now, how you craft these in your crafting bar. You want to put a chest with a minecart, put TNT with a minecart, just normal minecarts, and put a hopper with a minecart. I'm pretty positive, just together like this. Or something else. Now, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure you just add a minecart and that stuff. So, if you put a chest here, you can access the chest, and it can also be pushed along. So that's pretty cool. But, you would have to push it if you're in a mine like you create like a mine shaft it doesn't work very well the mine shaft you know what I mean and this can also be pushed in the blocks with pistons to make cool hidden chests which I will show in a later video so that's what the minecart with chest does now if you take one of these and put in sit oh I think you have to have a flint and steel oh. <laughs> Okay, where's a flint? Okay. Oh, pfft. Where's a flint and steel? Flint and steel. So you need a flint and steel, and you want to just light it like you would normally light it, and push it along, and ba-bam. Yeah, that's just like for sabotages. Now, let's just recreate the thing here. Now, a hopper with minecart. What the hopper with minecart does is... um. Let's just put it on. If you drop an item like this, and you look into the hopper, the item will be there. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. So, yeah. That was pretty much all for this video. If you would like to see more Minecraft tutorials and um, information on different Minecraft tasks, go ahead, comment below, please subscribe, and like this video. Bye!